Hey, it's Aaron with IP Exchange. We're at Wirepass Open 2024. I'm here with Amin and Gwendal, both from Wirepass. Uh, so uh, they've got some demos going on with their technology. So uh, first of all, uh, Amin, can you just um, introduce yourself to our audience and what you do at Wirepass, and then let's uh, get into what's going on here. Sure. So my name is Amin Maouj. So I joined Wirepass uh, one year and a half ago, um, working mainly on supporting our customers in uh, the customer success team. Uh, idea is really uh, to extend Wirepass offering to make easier uh, their integration and their rollouts. Uh, so with Gwendal, we will show you maybe uh, some of uh, the, uh, the components that we are also building to our partners to uh, uh, to have uh, uh, a scalable large mesh for smart metering. Here the demo will be about electricity uh, meters, so we will show you some end-to-end -end use cases that we can, uh, we can see in the field. Nice. Uh, uh, Gwenda, would you like to introduce yourself as well? <laughs> yeah, sure. Hello, so I'm uh, Gwenda Raoul. I've been working for Wirepass for almost 10 years now, uh, part of the R&D and mainly focusing on what is related to the layers that are close to our customers, so everything that is on the public side and, and more recently focusing with, uh, with Amin also on the, the metering for, for India. Nice. So, um, this, this is all together, isn't it? Um, exactly. So, what's, so, I guess this is the hardware side. Uh, what's going on here and how is Wirepass's technology uh, integrated? So, we have here uh, four uh, different meters uh, coming from uh, our partners in India. Um, and we have our reference design also connected to this. So, we can see here it's what we call the NIC card. So, it's a card that will be plugged into the meter okay. um, to, uh, to, uh, to act as a node for the RF uh, uh, mesh network, so the Wirepass network. Um, this, uh, uh, these cards are also, we cannot see here, but we have also the gateway. So oh, yes, yes. Um, it's just uh, it's best just beside. Um, and uh, yeah, um, it's a small network of four nodes okay. uh, we have here. Maybe, maybe I can comment on, yeah. on that. Yeah. So in this use case, we have, as I mean said, mm -hmm. four different meters. Mm -hmm. They all support the same protocol. Okay. And we have exactly the same application running in the NIC, even if it's different uh, meters at the end. And even the three on the left side uh, are connected in 6 GHz, okay. while the other one is in 5G. Oh, so, and they're all still all part of the same network? E e exa oh, exactly. E and still running the same application. Cool. Of course, it's not directly the same network because yeah. it's different bands. Yeah. 6 GHz versus mm. uh, 5G. But uh, at a higher level, like in this tool yeah. that you can see, you can, cool, yeah. you can see all the traffic coming from your different, uh, different meters. Excellent. Uh, so can you just explain to our audience a little bit about what's going on here? Well, th this one is more uh, the part that is common to all our uh, okay. Wirepass uh, networks that you have probably seen in different uh, other uh, booths. More focusing on this tool. Uh, it's just to demonstrate that uh, what we are building is completely integrated in the full uh, Wirepass uh, ecosystem. Nice. And um, in terms of connecting meters together, what would you say is one of the key benefits? Well, what would you, if you want to say more than one, you can. But what would you say are the key benefits of Wirepass connectivity when compared to what people are using today? And what are they using today? You want to take it? Yeah, I can take this one. Yeah, the, the benefit, the, the main benefit is uh, uh, we can make it scalable. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can have millions of devices in a single network. So for uh, application like smart metering, it's, uh, it's by far the, far, uh, the best solution that you can have. Uh, why? Because uh, in some area, for example, you can have different kind of solutions uh, for connectivity like cellular or other solutions. But when it comes to rural, rural area where the, the, the coverage is really bad, uh, having density with the, with the mesh network allows you to reach uh, what we call the SLA, so um, uh, a performance that, uh, that is often in some areas like India, uh, very difficult to reach with, all, with uh, other uh, connectivity solutions. So, yeah, I would say um, it's... Uh, 
yeah, what to add about the mesh? Yeah. To me, it's so obvious, so <laughs> it's difficult. It works, sir. It works. Yeah, it works. Yeah, it's proven. I mean, I mean, we already uh, deployed about uh, uh, three million uh, smart oh, wow. meters, um, and uh, every month we have uh, hundreds of uh, thousands that are installed uh, on smart meters, and it's proven that it's working. And uh, uh, yeah, nonetheless, uh, integration remains also with our partners for uh, like every product. Uh, um, a step, a crucial step. So this is why we, uh, where we act with Gwendal by providing the hardware reference design, the application that runs, um, and we tried also to 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 work with all the um, electricity meters to make sure that uh, uh, the standards are followed and we have this interoperability. Um, um, for um for the market. Nice. So, in terms of the reference design, is this something that um, any engineer can get, or uh, how do they how do they go about getting this reference design? And is it sp is this one specific to smart meters? Yeah, it's specific to electricity okay. smart meters, and um, uh, uh, we provided yeah as uh, uh, as free tool for all our partners okay. that are working on smart metering. This is really, um, this is not really the core technology of WirePass. The core technology is really the stack and yeah, the mesh yeah. itself. So here we are going one step beyond to make their life easier because we understand the mesh, we know the limitations, we know the benefits, and they can get the best of uh, of uh, our solution because our experts are uh, uh, making the best architecture, of course, for this. So, and we remove some burden also on yeah. their side. Cool. Well, thank you very, very much. Yeah, um, maybe I'll one touch. Uh, this is oh, yes. what we call the NMS. Um, okay. It's uh, it's not um, the interface that the customer will have. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not their head end system where the data will be displayed. And uh, it's it's specific tool that uh, uh, collects the the data from the mesh. It's the mesh performance really okay. uh, analysis tool. Um, it allows our partners to understand exactly what's going on on the network uh, to better understand the area where they're could be some uh, uh, some challenges and uh, make their also uh, life easier on how uh, to to um, to debug to analyze yeah. yeah to deploy even so um, in terms of role who would be using this most um, within the kind of managing the system so usually it will be used by what we call the system integrators okay uh, it's the ones that are uh, uh, developing the full solution and making sure uh, that uh, that the network behaves as as it should be okay. in uh, in uh, in um, in the field, and it's also a very um, important tool for um, the firmware updates um, and mapping uh, and mapping all the nodes uh, on the map. So this is uh, kind of uh, features that also we. Uh, we provide to our customers. Oh, cool, nice. Well, thank you for giving us a, a great overview on Wirepass for smart metering. And uh, yeah, check out Wirepass. And um, if you want to get co connected with them, then uh, they do have a reference design to get you started much quicker than you might think. Are you where my engineers at?